climate change is the greatest environmental threat humanity has ever faced and the biggest challenge. Over the years, we have changed the balance of our planet by living beyond our means. We have burned huge amounts of fossil fuels, bred huge amounts of methane-producing livestock and cut down vast strips of forests which would naturally absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. National Mission for Enhanced Energy Efficiency was initiated to enhance energy efficiency in energy-intensive sectors. Perform, Achieve and Trade, commonly called as PAT Scheme, is one of the flagship programs under the mission. It is an innovative regulatory scheme blended with a market mechanism where excess energy saved beyond the target can be traded in the form of energy saving certificates known as ES certs. The PAT scheme is being implemented in cyclic phase of three years and currently four cycles have been rolled out covering 846 industrial units from 13 energy intensive sectors, namely aluminium, chloralkali, fertilizer, iron and steel, paper and pulp, textile, thermal power plant, cement, Discom, railways, petroleum refinery, hotels under buildings and petrochemicals. Here are some of the sectoral achievements. Iron and steel. Under iron and steel sector, a total of 135 plants have been notified so far and assigned mandatory energy reduction targets. Under PAT Cycle 1, against a reduction target of 1.486 million tonne of oil equivalent, the energy savings achieved was 2.10 million tonne of oil equivalent, which was around 41% over and above the target. The sector has achieved a saving of 4.9 million tonne of coal equivalent by adopting efficient technologies such as coke dry quenching, top recovery turbine, etc. Aluminium. In aluminium sector, the energy saving target was 0.456 million tons of oil equivalent, whereas the sector has achieved a saving of 0.730 million tons of oil equivalent, which is around 60% higher than the saving target notified for 10 aluminium units. The sector, against a saving of 7% of the national target, has overachieved by 60%. Under PAT Cycle 1, around 1.7 million tonne of coal equivalent was saved in the sector, which means the CO2 emission reduction from aluminium sector was as much as 3.1 million tonne. Pulp and Paper The paper and pulp sector has achieved energy saving of 0.289 million tonne oil equivalent against the target of 0.119 million tons oil equivalent by 31 designated units notified. That means the achieved saving is about 143% higher than the saving target. In fact, the specific energy consumption of notified units have reduced around 19%. Cement. Under cement sector, in PAT Cycle 1, there were 85 plants. More than 90% of them have overachieved their target. The sector has approximately 200 plants, out of which 125 have been covered under PAT scheme. Textile. In PAT Cycle 1 from textile sector, among the 90 units included, over 60% of them have overachieved their targets. To summarize the achievements, energy saving of 8.67 ton of oil equivalent, which is 1.25% of India's total energy supply. Emission reduction of 31 million ton of carbon dioxide, which is 1.93% of India's total emissions. Monetary savings of 9,500 crore rupees. Capacity building of over 5,000 engineers and operators and about 13,000 energy professionals. Encouraged investment of 26,100 crore rupees. PAD scheme has proven to be instrumental in bringing about a transformative change towards improving energy efficiency in India.
Its success has attracted global attention and has shown tremendous potential for meeting commitments under nationally determined contributions in particular and sustainable development in general.